Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Hunting Sodak. Today, we got a kind of special hunt. We got a lot of guys going, and it's a pretty dirty feed. I, Cole scouted it last night and yesterday, and he said there's probably 5,000 mallards out there, and um, he saw a lot of specks in the area. We're not hunting right on where the specks were, but there's a lot of them flying around in the area and some Canadians out there as well. So that could be good. We're hunting on the edge of a slough. We're using two A-frames. Not the homemade one, but we're gonna set up two A-frames right on the edge of the slough and hopefully get into them. But we got a special guest today. What's up back there? What's your name? Dylan. Dylan, that's miniature Carson is what, is what we're gonna call him. <laughs> Kirsty, they look, they look about the same. Just a little bit smaller. Not much though, but we're gonna get out there and we'll get after it. We'll see you guys in the field. Peace. So, so we got going. We got a pond right there behind us. And then we just got two two a frames going like this around the edge of the pond, basically. And then we got ducks, two mojo, three mojos, and some. Two mo three mojos and some goose and duck decoys, probably like six dozen ducks and no, five, four or five dozen ducks and three dozen goose decoys. So I think we got four or five ducks down, a couple widgeons is all we've gotten so far. So we're gonna keep shooting. Stay tuned, right, Dylan? Yeah. Yeah. Go on, boys. Second duck of the year I've shot. I've shot one green head all year. I don't know what it was. I, I'm pretty sure it was a hand or a gadwall or something, but we're getting into them, right, Dill? We're going to get them into them today. But I think we got like three down. They shot into a group earlier, so we're going to keep after it. Stay tuned. The widgeons were sitting there. I don't see them. Go ahead. Rooster, and you're dead. Did some die? Yeah, I got two there. I busted two widgeons out of there. One died right away, and one flew away. But we should have shot them greenheads. We had three greenheads come sit on us, basically. But we should have dusted them. We're gonna keep after though. That's a greenie, Kirsty. Me and you? Yeah, me and Kirsty tag team that one. What's that, Dilly? Me and Kirsty just busted a nice greenie. Probably our first good greenie of the year. My, I shot one earlier, but me and Kirsty tag teamed one. Stick to the bush. Yes, sir. Yeah, we got one, Dill. <laughs> Just killed us a honker. Hey, Dill. Yeah. Sheesh. No. Poor guy. He did. Should have waited on the snows. They're about to do it. <laughs> nice. I love me a good dumb green head. What did we just get? What did we just get doing? Green head. Let's go, baby. Well, that's a wrap on the morning hunt. What'd you think, Dylan? Okay. Is that your first time duck hunting ever? Yeah? At least we got some, right? Yeah. They weren't really working the best. Our top wasn't covered as good as it should have been, but they all were just flying right above us pretty much at 200 yards hovering and looking down into the blinds, which kind of sucked, but... What? Hunters near us. That didn't really affect anything. 
we couldn't work birds at all really we worked a few flocks and that's about it but we did shoot a goose and then i think we got like two or three green heads and a couple widgeons and a couple hens so that's it for that i guess but might go pheasant hunting later today i don't know maybe this will be a separate video if there's enough enough content of ducks flying around us but we'll see but thank you guys for tuning in to another one don't forget to like subscribe check out the other videos what do you got to say Dylan? They need to subscribe. Subscribe? Yeah, I think so too. Till then, till the next video. Peace.